What's up YouTube, Tom from Techstops here and just a quick video to let all you guys know that Nikon or Nikon for all you US people have released the D3100. So as I flick up some of the photos here from the press release, um, I'll rattle off a couple of the statistics or specs. The D3100 is the successor to the D3000 which is a very popular model. It now comes with full HD 1080p video recording at 24 and 30 frames per second. Um, and it has a 14.2 CMOS, 14.2 uh, megapixel CMOS sensor, which is a, a nice upgrade, and a three inch LCD uh, display. It also gains live view shooting, and it has a wider ISO range from 100 to 3200, and it's ex expandable to 12,800. Not sure if, um, if it'll be used at 20, 12,800 range. I mean, it might become a bit grainy, but it's good as an option anyway. The camera itself, will ship with Nikon's 18 to 55 VR lens and in the kit it'll be at 699 US. Haven't seen the prices for Australia yet, but it'll probably be maybe around the eight eight hundred bucks. So the Nikon is I'm a Canon person myself and the Nikon is a competitor to the Canon Rebel XS for everyone in the States or the 1000 D outside the States. Um, that particular Canon uh, body has been out since about early 2008, so Canon really needs to get a hurry on and bring an update because the Canon doesn't actually have video and it's a 10 megapixel camera. So I think this Nikon will do well in the entry models. Um, but I really think, I always suggest that if you're, you know, if you're semi-serious about a a good DSLR camera, you're, you're, it's not the best option to go at the very entry level. The mid-range is a, probably a better option um, and Nikon's D90 camera, which has been great for Nikon, um, it's expecting a, a refresh. So the rumours are that it'll be coming up sometime in September. Uh, so I'd, I'd potentially wait and see what comes out of there, and it might be more value for money, and you, you should get a higher spec for, for a little bit more money. But if you can afford it, that's the way to go. Anyway, Tom from Tech Stops here. I'll do, when whenever Canon does release a um, updated 1000D or Rebel XS, I'll do a comparison between the update and the Nikon D3100. But check out my other videos. I've got a couple of other videos there. I released recently a Canon. Um, Canon has released its 60D, so I'll, I'll put a video up, video up on that. Um, but subscribe if you like my videos and please rate. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you enjoy them, let me know. If you want me to change something or if you've got any questions, just post below. Tom from Tech Stops here. I'll catch you soon.